Hello friend, Joe at the office here. Uh, do me a favor, before we get started, please hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a thing, but it helps me out a lot. Thanks. Uh, okay, this tutorial will cover uh, making the uh, an Access Database compatible in both 32-bit and 64-bit uh, installations. Um, so a lot of times what has happened in the past is uh, users have uh, been upgraded to 64-bit Office uh, because that's what the IT department did or that's what their auto update did uh, as opposed to 32-bit and so they've gone in and opened up their access database applications that they've been using for many years and uh, all of a sudden they get a pop-up box that says uh, that their application is not compatible with 64-bit and it also in the error message mentions PTR safe pointer safe uh, that needs to be added in 64-bit uh, functions and, and declarations so let me get into that a little bit and I have a I have a uh, just a, a basic example of some modules in uh, a, you know a new access database applications where this message would happen and if you go into debug and compile database this uh, message with the PTR safe attribute will, will pop up because I'm working in a 64-bit uh, system and um, so we're gonna need to fix this code uh, and it's very simple to do but you, know, you got to be aware of what you're doing in, in all of the syntax uh, as part of this so uh, let's go ahead and get right into it so this uh, what is in red here means that uh, it's not compatible with the 64-bit mode and to make it compatible we would have to add PTR safe before the word function it's pretty easy but I don't just want to make this compatible with 64-bit I want to make this compatible with 32-bit and 64-bit so I have to use an if-then statement to um, for this to for this to work so um, I'm gonna go ahead and just type it out here um, and then we'll copy and paste some stuff later to show you how it works but um, if uh, we're in a VB7 VBA7 environment which is a 64-bit then uh, we're going to use this declaration we're going to um, declare a function that's inside of this Windows API control C control V but it is going to have the word uh, PTR safe in front of function so now that is understandable and compatible with 64-bit so we're saying that if we are using 64-bit then use 64-bit technology to run this function um, and then uh, else else is if we're in a 32-bit system or installation then use this uh, function instead so that is all there is to it we added the PTR safe to the function that's compatible with VVA7 and um, left the declare function for this library normal uh, otherwise so else um, so this fixes this so uh, let's go ahead and do something a little more uh, a little bigger here we're, we're going to do the same thing uh, for something that has multiple declarations so th this is all red which means it's not compatible with 64-bit and we are going to put it all in here and just build the framework here. I'm going to copy this entire incompatible string and put it in the 32-bit section and then go before the function and type the PTR safe word. This pointer safe will make this function compatible with it's telling uh, access that this function is compatible with 64-bit. So that's all there is to that. Let's do one more. So this whole uh, application will be uh, just fine just find just find <laughs> just fine uh, if, then there's multiple declarations here that are looking at different libraries uh, or DLLs uh, probably different libraries here PTR safe remember it's got to be before every word uh, every function 
in declaration only functions. It doesn't have to go in normal functions without that de declare word keyword. So that's it. So now if we were to run debug compile, uh, oh, sorry. I missed a point, which is the pound symbol has to be here before every entry so that the access system knows to read this. It's looking for this here and here. All right, now it should work. Yeah, perfect. So now it's been compiled. The 64-bit installation knows uh, that these functions are safe and they know when to use it. So now if I open up this database in a 32-bit installation, it will use the second, the else statement, because it will be VBA6 uh, in here. So uh, that's how you fix the problem. And um, that's pretty much it. I, you can debug and compile in both the 64-bit and the 32-bit versions and uh, this will not throw an error as long as the syntax is correct uh, and then you can just do this in every database uh, deploy your applications if that's what it, if that's how you handle it and your users will be able to use it no matter what uh, system they are and the IT department will be happy because they're going to be able to uh, after this is done uh, install 64-bit installations across the organization. Okay, yeah, that should do it. So if you have any questions or critiques, please leave a comment. Um, and if you appreciate this tutorial, please hit the subscribe and like button. And always, thank you for watching.